Today is awesome. This giant box is Starlink Internet. And for anybody that doesn't know what it is, it's basically satellite internet. For those of us that live way out in the country, like we do, we pay out the wazoo for terrible internet. So now I can pay out the wazoo for good internet. So that's what this is. We're gonna be unboxing it and we're gonna see what's all in the box. It's from Starlink, so it's actually an Elon Musk product. So thanks Elon, you're probably not watching this ever, but thank you anyway. Um, but yeah, SpaceX, Tesla, all those brands, um, this is their internet solution for people way out in the sticks like we are. So let's open it up and see what we got. This box is huge. It's like literally bigger than an iMac box. It's honestly one of the biggest product boxes I've ever seen or dealt with. Um, I'm pretty sure it opens this way. We have a gigantic photo of three steps of instructions. Starlink, step one, set up the satellite. Step two, plug in your router. Step three, connect it from your phone. So we have a giant, the biggest instruction sheet I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna hang this on my wall <laughs> for three simple steps. I kinda love it. Now we have just a bunch of plastic um, protecting the components, I'm sure. Here's where we get into the meat and potatoes of it. So here we have the base. This is actually pretty substantial. Um, I know it only comes with one mounting plate, um, so we can buy additional mounting plates if we want to screw it into the roof or something like that. Otherwise, this will sit on the ground. Otherwise, I do see um, places where I could fasten it down onto um, some other kind of a surface, so that's handy. I'm gonna stick this over here on the other counter. So starting with the dish, the cable was actually connected already, and I gotta pull all this out. Hang on, let me pull all this out, and then we'll, then we'll get to that. I'm like Captain America with this thing. It's actually very heavy. Okay, boxes aside. So what we have is actually a really, really simple setup. We just have these couple things, and then this giant dish, which is very space agey. It's very, um, yeah, I don't know, it's cool, it's neat, I like it. I don't know what I was expecting exactly, but it's actually heavier duty than what I thought it would be. Um, and like I say, this cable is connected directly to the dish, and it, we just have tons and tons and tons of it. Um, so basically what the setup is, is you set up your dish in the yard or on the rooftop, and then the cable just runs directly into your house, plugs into the power supply. The power supply does two things. Well, first it plugs into the wall to give you power. That runs power to the dish, but then we also plug our router into the power supply. These cables are meant for uh, data transfer as well as power transfer. So this comes out of the wall, powers the dish, powers our tiny little router. Or I guess this wouldn't be a router, this would be more of like a, okay, I guess it would be a router actually, because let's see. Okay, yeah, so there's an auxiliary port, so I'm sure I'd be able to plug in some kind of extension router or my own router to be able to do some networking things with it. Um, but this is, this is the Starlink router. So we get power from this and we get communication to it from the satellite. So, I mean, these things just, plug into each other as is, and it's all color-coded for us. So so we go white to white, black to black, plug that in, set this in the yard, and that's it, that's your internet. Surprisingly, it actually looks really simple. It's easy, um, I, I say that now, <laughs> it looks easy. Um, but we'll get it hooked up, and we'll see what kind of speeds we get. So let's go get this thing hooked up and ready to go.
So that was it. That was the whole setup. But honestly, it wasn't too bad. I mean, you just place the dish outside wherever you're going to put it and then plug everything in, open the app on your phone, connect to the Wi-Fi network, and then it just searches, it finds the satellites, it does everything, and then you're online. Um, granted, I wasn't going to leave it there in the middle of the yard. I actually need to put it up on the roof, but we already have a dish up there. So I need to do some planning and figure out how I'm going to get the old one down and put this new one up there. But um, I just wanted to test it to see what kind of speeds we were getting. And our speeds were actually really good. It was about 100 megabytes per second over the Wi-Fi when I was in the same room as the router. And then I went to the other ends of the house and tested it and got about 70 to 80 um, depending on where I was in the house. So honestly, that's not so bad at all because like I said earlier, we're already paying a ton per month for about 25 megabytes per second. On a good day, we get that. We normally get about seven to 10. So this is, it's awesome. It's really cool. Um, I'm super excited to get it going. Uh, the setup was a little bit uh, hairy for me. Um, I turned it on, I connected everything. The dish pointed upward and was searching for the satellites. Um, and then it was just taking forever, like several minutes. So I decided I was gonna cancel it out and unplug everything and restart it and plug it back in. But then it took forever for the Wi-Fi network to turn back on. I couldn't find it again. I had to restart my phone. Um, it took me probably a good 10 minutes or so to get it actually you know, dialed in and then all of a sudden it worked and then it was fine. So um, hopefully if you're using this system that you don't have that kind of an experience, but um, just I had an issue with it. And also the cord <laughs> dangled worse than like, Christmas lights. So yeah, just make sure you have a plan with the cord. <laughs> but otherwise, that's it. That's the Starlink system. It's honestly really easy. Um, probably one of the easiest internet systems I've ever used. And I'm just super excited to get it hooked up for real and to get using it every day. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these types of videos, if you're a tech person, if you like to learn about technology, that's what my channel is all about. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Uh, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It really helps out the channel, helps me to continue doing this stuff going forward. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.